All right, we're having a look at the Kubuntu. This is 18.04 LTS Beta 1. I've got to run here live on VirtualBox. Just had to download it and check it out also. So we're looking at a lot of KDE plasmas. I had to look at Kubuntu because this is the one I used to use here a while back. So here it is running live. Boot it up. And there's your clock and calendar. And status of notifications. There's your volume controls networking and device notifier then it comes with the uh application menu i think that's what it's called yep application launcher then it's all it says dash launcher and the application menu this is the one that i used to use and it looks a lot better than it used to so there it is. Let's see what you get. Development. You got a couple things there. Education, math, science, and all that. Got uh, graphics. Again, no GIMP. It just has GWIN view, LibreOffice, and all that. Internet comes with the Firefox web browser, and it's probably the brand new updated 58. We'll have a look at that. And let's see. Help in about. There it is. Oh, it is the Quantum 57. It could update. I mean, I'm running this thing live. So then, what else you got? The K mail. You got your K everything. K conversate. Uh, multimedia. Got uh, K3B VLC and all that. Uh, Office. Got all the LibreOffice stuff and then KDE stuff. System settings and their settings. K system guard. And what's it running for? Thirty eight. That one says. And let's see what else. System, system, K Info Center, and there it is. KDE Plasma 512 using kernel 415, Ubuntu 18.04. And let's see what else. I uh, got your K Notes, K Calculate, and all that. And there's the Dolphin. It's all set up really nice. That's the way I like it set up. And so there that is. So there is the system memory. Uh, this one says 447. And let's see, there's your logout and everything. Utilities. This one comes with the partition manager also. And it's got the discover. Of course, it's Ubuntu base. It's got that other package manager also. And so let's see how this package manager on this one boots up and gets uh, situated there. So there it goes. Games. That one all works pretty good. Boot it up fairly quickly. And internet. Web browsers. You can pick Chromium. And let's see what else. No Chrome. Just Chromium. And there you go. So that one works pretty good. Right click on the desktop. You get to your wallpaper. Just one wallpaper. And you know that's what I liked about the Kubuntu when I used to use it. It was just a clean canvas. Didn't have a lot of themes or anything. You can get in there and make it your own. So there's the system settings. Let's have a look at the themes. You got the two themes again. Clean canvas. You got the breeze, breeze light, you know, a couple cursors there, not very many. And there you go. And then you got all your other styles, applications. See one, two there. It's a little bit cleaner. And of course all the other KDE stuff. So not bad. And you know, it's KDE, it's Plasma 5, it's Kubuntu. Ubuntu base. So we have all the fun little widgets and everything. And you can download more themes and all your other stuff however you want it. There you go. Not a bad build. KDE Plasma. And this is the exact theme I used to use a long time ago. That was the uh, Plasma, what was it? Breeze Dark, I think it was called. Yeah, the breeze and they got the breeze dark that's the breeze dark that's the one i used to use so not bad of course you can click on that and uh look for any other theme and they got a kde uh what's it called adapter let's go ahead and see what that looks like and there it is installed really quick and you click on that and let's see how the adapter theme looks. There's the adapter. 
not bad. Let's see how the file browser looks. And see, I think they got the full dark, right? Somehow you can get it to the full dark. That's the breeze. Adapter. I don't know how to get it to a full dark. Maybe in colors. Breeze. Somehow you do that. Not uh, too familiar with uh, plasma uh, at this point. Haven't been messing with it for a while. Sure, there's a way to get your full dark theme, but anyway, there it is. Not bad at all. Looks good. I like it. It's the way it is. And there, the only thing I didn't like about the adapted theme when it comes to this uh, little widget clock here looks kind of really stupid. I think they could have done a better job on that. Or in the uh, system settings, give you the option to change the theme in here. I don't know why they didn't do that. There that is. I don't like the Adapta clock theme. So there you go. Works really good. Not bad at all. And it seems fairly quick run here on VirtualBox. I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. Just wanted to check it out. The Kubuntu Beta 1. 18.04 and this will be the LTS it'll be out final release in April 27th I think it was so pretty cool all right I guess I want to wrap this up here I'm out